Good afternoon, I'm Bria Stiff. Welcome to WGHC-TV COVID-19 edition, an initiative brought to you by the West Greenville Health Council. According to the CDC, over 13 million people in the U.S. have contracted COVID-19. Many of these people have gotten well, but that requires special steps to ensure that no one else around you gets sick. I went to ECU and talked with the athletic department about how they worked with athletes who've gotten the virus and to keep others safe from the virus. Lenny Hales, who is the track and field athletic trainer at East Carolina University, has the responsibility of quarantining athletes who have been exposed to the COVID-19 virus. If you've been within six feet, um, unmasked for longer than 10 minutes, uh, you're deemed a close contact. So then that person is then put in quarantine for 14 days. Naomi Whitaker, a second degree biology major and student athlete at East Carolina University, came into contact with someone COVID positive and experienced the required 14 days of quarantine. Basically, she immediately told me to just go to my room, um, get my necessities together, hand sanitizer, my mask, um, everything. Um, and just be prepared to stay in the room for the next two weeks. And I tried to grab like any snacks that I could find. And for those two weeks, she found many ways to pass time by. I binge watch uh, Netflix. Um, I FaceTime people, listen to music. And I had chemistry during the time that I had quarantine. So that kept me very busy. At ECU, student athletes are practicing ways to minimize the spread of COVID-19. Um, student athletes are required to wear a mask into the building at all times. Um, and then uh, also symptom screenings and daily temperature checks. So student athletes are required to do that before they practice, lift, enter the building. And these steps are encouraged for everyone to follow, not just student athletes. I think the biggest thing is mask wearing when you have to be in close proximity of someone. Um, same things, the, the hand washing, um, you know, anytime you can avoid big crowds, you know, doing that sort of thing, um, doing what you need to do as safely as possible. I'm Bria Stiff. Thank you for joining us on this edition of WGHC-TV. And remember, stay safe so we can stay together. Stay safe so we can stay together. Let's stay together. Love